Seems like forever Since we've been together Oh God, I miss you bad And I read your life your pictures Oh God I miss you so bad It's been so long I know But I'm finally Everybody, it is the day of my official induction. <laughs> um, I'm feeling much better, and I always, I just feel like God always knows what you need because I got such good sleep last night, even though I still look pretty tired. Oh it's my goodness, rough. we got the call. 6:40 a.m. At least I got some sleep in me. It's time to go to the hospital and have a baby. All right, we need to go to a bagel shop and get food really quickly. Um, because I'm not going to be able to eat when I, until I get to the hospital. And then, yeah, it's go time. Oh, that's ominous. Fire <laughs> dog. Emergency. I just devoured a bacon, egg, and cheese with hash brown. <laughs> Literally, it was like, um, and Dan is in the bag and I was like listen I'm not gonna get to eat the second I get to the hospital so you can eat in front of me wow I have plenty of time to do whatever I need to do <laughs> so I'll eat later look at Dan over here plenty of time while I'm dying in labor well, you're it's gonna fine be busy, so now. yeah um so babe how do you feel sure everyone wants to know everyone's actually been asking me on Instagram how, I feel. how do you feel about everything that has led up to this at this moment and how do you feel about now finally going in and about to meet your baby? I think I'm a, not nervous but like a little nervous like there are nerves right now. Yeah. Because um, I've never done this before. Yes, yeah, it's weird. We've always been like, oh you're on a rope? Okay. And I was like hours or you know leading into it. Yeah. This is kind of like they called and we're in the car. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. there's definitely nerves going on right now. I don't want to miss the exit. Yeah. That's <laughs> five. Um, we we were talking just now and saying how it's kind of funny, like it's not lost on us that the only time we've ever rushed to the hospital is right now for our induction. Yeah, yeah and my water broke with my other two. Yeah, we didn't rush down. <laughs> Will's labor was less than three hours too. <laughs> and we left like two, I think we left like what, two, two hours after um, I think it was my water total broke. 45 minutes <laughs> yeah. when we got there. <laughs> Oh, I was like crowding in the car. I'm 
Tied up. And it's surprisingly beautiful. Oh, yeah, considering your the bed sheet you're wearing. <laughs> Does it accentuate my hips? <laughs> sure. I feel like I should do some cool sleeveage. Like a cool like, like a cool cat. Right, and if I like take this from the hospital, then I do like a DIY video on how to make your YouTube your cat look pretty. <laughs> A little snip snip here, here. A little cinch here. A bedazzled belt. Yeah. Oh my gosh, can you imagine if my water broke right now? I'd be like, oh, good me. Yeah. Uh, speed things up. <laughs> I need to fix this. Okay, I need to go potty. Alright, let's go. <laughs> you okay? Yeah. So, this is super comfortable. <laughs> Almost a rock, but like a soft rock. It's meant for tiny husband. Husband. Yeah. <laughs> Zero like bounce to it. No give. <laughs> so I'll take a nap here. Yeah. Okay. okay. I'm gonna go potty. Okay. <laughs> oh, it's like a grand opening. Yeah. It's the grand. You should leave that big round. Yeah. This, <laughs> I have to, <laughs> they want you to like. You have to aim. Oh, yeah. It's a game. Or you just break the paper. <laughs> As I told you, it's a grand opening. Yeah. <laughs> okay. How's it going? It's good. So I'm hooked up to the monitor. I just got the COVID test. My nose is bleeding now because I think it's my brain bleeding. It's like, it's like, it's like the sticks are up here. <laughs> um, and then. Um, they put in the medicine for me to start the induction. So I'm getting a medicine that goes into my cheek and then that will cause me to thin out the rest of the way. But while I'm having any type of intervention, uh, medical intervention, I have to be monitored. So I'm just hanging out right now. They haven't started anything, so. Yeah, they're just admitting you now. Yeah, I just got this just in case they need to do anything quick. I'm drinking water. That's my water. This is your water. I'm like a camel right now. It's stress. Chug, chug, chug. Can I show our room? Mm hmm. A little bit of everything. There's our sink. We have the potty. Did you say the potty? The potty. I have kids, leave me alone. Your vocabulary changes when you have kids. It's a pretty, pretty sweet room. Yeah, well, on one of our videos, like a little while back, and I was like, when they have a poopy diaper, <laughs> I felt so dumb. I felt so dumb yeah. not editing that out. But I was like, it's a poopy diaper. Like, and this is where the poopy diaper goes. <laughs> We're just eating num nums. Num nums. Midday num nums. Hi guys, so it is 10.30 and I am laying here. I had the medication that goes into my mouth that um, helps me thin out and it's dissolved already. I have to be on a liquid diet, which is fun. Um, but I just had like a contraction that was like a good little bump. I definitely felt that one, so that's good. Hopefully my body starts contracting on its own again. Um, and I only have to take like one dose of this medicine so that would be kind of nice um i can take it every four hours and i took it i think around like nine o'clock so it's only been an hour and a half um so hopefully it starts really working i mean this is pretty peaceful like it's just been kind of nice i know that my contractions are going to start hurting and i'm going to start freaking out <laughs> um and then i have to start getting like into like labor mode where i like listen to music and try to get through each contraction and stuff like that so mentally I'm just trying to like relax until we get to that point sorry you just they gave me a knife for for my clear liquid diet just wanted to, just wanted some, to rub it in some thick broth <laughs> Maybe it's for your Italian ice <laughs> or your club soda. This is literally my diet. Chicken broth. 
club soda. Italian ice. The watermelon one was delicious. That was really good. Delicious. So I've had the second round of the medicine. It's one round, one full round, but split between two doses every four hours. So eight hours is one total dose. At five o'clock is when I am officially done with the dose. The first dose has made me contract every six minutes and they're actually to the point where I'm like, oh, we're, in, we're doing this again for the third time. So they're, they're actual like contraction contractions. So we have probably like 45 minutes until she comes back in here and actually checks me and we know whether we're doing another eight hour round or if I'm switching over to like Pitocin or whatnot, but I don't I know. I, be, I bet you she's gonna do another round. So 5 p.m. was eight hours of 5 p.m. 5.30. Why can't I do math right now? It's three. Eights and fives get me every time. Yeah, and then you put them together, five, they're the worst. Three. Let's all do math together. 5.30. Why don't you just ask Google? 6.30, 7.30, 8.30, 9.30, 10.30, 11.30, 12.30, 1.30, 2.30, 3.30. at night. Who's gonna labor all night long and not gonna get any sleep? You should sleep now then. Just take a nap. Well, I slept last night from 8 p.m. to 6, 6 a.m. Mm -hmm. Woke up a few times to pee. Fine. Woke up a few times because I was a little itchy. Fine. But overall, I got great, comfortable sleep. Like, it was fantastic. So, I'm good. Alright. I'm ready for newbornhood. Like, Let's do it. I'm gonna have to take care of a baby after this. <gasps> We're about to meet our child. You know how you say, like, women hear, like, a, a crying baby and, like, they, like, start to lactate? Yeah. Like, when I heard, when we first got here, I heard that baby, like, like my heart, like, stopped. I was like, oh, it's a baby. Like, oh, I have to protect it. It's a it. newborn, yeah. <laughs> I have to protect the baby. Yeah. Yeah. I didn't it's lactate, funny. though. You didn't, well, I'm hoping you didn't lactate. That would be a little strange. Yeah. I'd would. have some questions <laughs> for you. It's funny because... None of our labor and delivery videos ever allowed for us to just chill. Yeah, we always got there and then you were already in, like, in too much pain I, I to was, like, like dying to in labor. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, here we are, just like. We're chilling. We're having. It's quiet. I don't have to look at. No kids. Crayon drawings <laughs> nonstop. Hey, Daddy, look at this. Hey, Dad, look at this. Daddy. Or like weird Daddy. jumps. <laughs> Jump, move, flips. Hey, Daddy, look what I can do. <laughs> We're like, okay, wow. They're gonna see this like later and be like, they were joking on us in the yeah, hospital. I'm having a contraction right now. Here's all my contractions. Great. Right. I don't think you can actually see it on the screen. Whatever. There's contractions up there. <laughs> um. And hiccups too. We've been hearing a lot of hiccups. Not recently. But Not recently. Though before there was hiccups yet. They brought me a yoga ball. I claim the dibs. I called dibs on that before anyone else could take one. And I would just let it sit over there so no one else can play with it. I'm dead serious. I was like, can I have a yoga ball? And then I got back in bed. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a jerk. <laughs> You're the best. <laughs> <laughs> My arm was on the button for the bed. And the bed just You're just dancing. And we were like, oh my god, what's going on? And then we were both just freaking out. And I started panicking, so I started flailing, so it started happening more. Well, now I'm up this much. <laughs> this is how upright I am now. Oh my gosh, that was so funny. You gonna go back to resting now? I know, jeez. Oh <laughs> it's a weird God. place to put up the button. Yeah, so... You gonna give an update? No, my, my contractions are picking up a little bit and getting uncomfortable. Um, but it just turned... It's 8.05 now and I have to wait till like 9-ish to get checked. So I'm gonna get checked and then we're gonna see if we're gonna do one more round of this or if we're going to... Um, switch to maybe like something else we'll see how dilated I am and whatnot I'd rather keep doing this if it's going to progress my contractions and progress me than switch to Pitocin because I feel like if we can do this and just get far along enough where I'm dilated to like a four or five they can break my water and then um, 
my body should kick into gear at that point, hopefully, because that's what it's done every other pregnancy. I'd much rather just like skip Pitocin entirely and just kind of do that. But um, yeah, we'll see. This medicine, you can do up to six doses or eight doses, six doses. And I've had six, three. Yeah. I've had three. So I only had half the amount. Um, so we're just going to kind of see from there. But I think midwives are swapping over soon. So I think the other midwife will be coming in here and I'll chat with her and whatnot. But yeah, I'm doing okay. I'm starting to to like feel the contractions and they're starting to get a little spassy. <laughs> Good night. <laughs> okay. I'm also itchy. Itchy AF. What else is new? But that's always right at this time. Yeah. That's when my itchiness picks up. But my all my arms. My arms are itchy. My feet are itchy. My whole body's freaking itchy. So Hey guys, so I'm on my phone right now because I have absolutely no idea where my camera is. It's somewhere over by Dan. Dan's trying to sleep. You can definitely hear him in the background. Um, but I just woke up. It is uh, 4.50 and I got pretty crummy sleep last night. I think I only slept for like four hours in like chunks. Just prepping me for a newborn over here um but now i've switched positions because i want to start getting a little bit more active and being a little bit more upright so um i'm just finishing up right now i have uh 45 minutes left about an hour left of this last dose of medication it's actually the fifth dose and i can have six in total so 24 hours worth and for those of you who are like, oh, why wouldn't you just do like Cervidil or do something else? Um, or like the Foley bulb or whatever. Being 37 weeks and knowing my body was definitely not prepared for an induction at all um, or to go into labor, I wanted to do something that was nice and slow and steady. And while this is an off-label uh, drug that's used for inductions, I really liked the idea of not just like attacking my system with effacing like becoming effaced and also starting contractions and all of that i like the fact that this medication was simply just to like create um an effacement so it was just to thin my cervix and then after my cervix was completely thinned and my body was ready to go then we can start Pitocin and then I can get labor going um, and my body will be ready. I won't just be like pounding something hard against like a very closed door. So I really liked that and I knew that this was going to be a much longer process than like the average induction um, and I was okay with that and so was Dan and we knew we were in for the long haul. So. We are almost done with phase one, which is really exciting. And then we'll be on to phase two. I'm just really nervous about these Pitocin contractions because they are not going to be fun at all. They're not gonna be enjoyable. I'm having contractions now every like two to four minutes apart. And like I'm having one right now and they're starting to really hurt. They're also starting to really pick up now that I've sat down in the rocking chair instead of been laying down so that's a really good sign my body might actually go into labor on its own without pitocin which would be fabulous Right, let's do a cool, uh, cool shot. A reveal. Were <laughs> those fancy YouTubers? <laughs> How did my double chin look? Was it good? It was you get perfect. Yep. Yeah. You have to get the right angle. The perfect. Okay. I'm having a contraction. Uh, yeah, you can um, see it. Hi, how are you? My name's Lex, and I'm in labor. <laughs> I'm three 
centimeter dilated with the assistance of my midwife. It's all for you, it's all for you, it's all for you, I did it all for you, it's all for you, it's all for you, it's all for you. I'm trying to cover myself up here. We went from PG <laughs> to NR right away. <laughs> yeah, to not rate it because it can't be rated yet. How do you feel? So, I'm feeling good. Okay, so update. I have a fully boob. Fully boob. Fully bulb. <laughs> Full boobs. <laughs> Full boobs. I have a fully bulb in. And that's going to fall out when I am at four centimeters on my own. And then, um, they also put a wireless monitor on me, which is fabulous. Loving this for myself because um, I'm finally able to get up. As you can see, I'm not in bed. I was able to get up with the monitors on and that, but my belly, for some reason, like the monitor and my belly just did not get along. So every second, every time I moved like this much, speaking of the devil, every time I moved like this much, it would just completely shut off. The nurse had to come in, she had to reposition me. It was just like a nightmare. And I wasn't having like horrible contractions. So I was like, you know what, I might as well just stay in the bed. Um, but now I gotta get this baby pushing on my cervix because things gotta start opening up. We gotta get this show on the road. I wanna need some dinner. <laughs> That's my goal. I'm trying to have this baby by 6.30. It's only 11, it's like just over 11. I feel like that's a, a decent goal to have. Hey guys, just a little update. They just broke her water and things are about to start happening. So she'll be back in the bed shortly and everyone's kind of getting everything ready to go.
Good home.
gonna have you lift your hips up, up your butt. Yeah. 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 Y